Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about the best drones to scare birds. I've got four awesome options and also you need to understand the science and I've got a study which will show you exactly what you need to do to scare birds. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com so go check that out because it has a ton more information than I can squeeze into this video. I'll put a link in the description um, and yeah, I, it's super valuable. I spent a lot of time looking at the science, looking at the things you should uh, look at if you're trying to buy a drone to scare birds and also my top four recommendations, five I think actually in that one. So go check it out because it is a valuable resource. Okay, so before we get into the drones that I think you should buy, you need to really understand what actually scares birds. Now, I found a 2019 study that looked at kind of, uh, it said, uh, what it's like agricultural warfare in vineyards. And uh, what it did is it looked at different ways that you can scare birds. Now, interestingly, in a previous life, when I was a research scientist, we did some contract work for a, um, a company that was trying to scare away birds. And uh, so it's, it's a weird collection of, of things I know. But um, this study really captures, I think, everything. And, it, and it's in the article, if you click and, and copy and go through to that, you can actually read it. But essentially this study saw that netting and human scarers were by far the best methods of scaring away birds. And that was birds like big parakeets all the way down to kind of smaller finches and that sort of stuff that were attacking grapes. Now, um, those are obviously very expensive and uh, they're, they work though, they're, they're, they are simple, right? A dude flailing his arms in a field is better than a lot of other techniques. And the thing is, birds do get very used to what is around them. They become habitualized. So this idea that birds are initially scared of things that they, um, that they see that is new in the environment, but then after about two weeks normally, they just get used to it. So if you use like scarecrows or um, models of predators and that sort of stuff, yeah, it's gonna initially work, but after about two weeks, they're gonna return. So um, they looked at things like, um, like, using a drone. And so what they found is that a drone was successful with the bigger birds, with the eagles, with the hawks, with the stuff like that. But it worked with about a 50 meter radius within itself. So you could fly a drone over um, a vineyard and it would scare about a 50 meter radius of large birds away and they would stay away for a couple of hours but the smaller birds would simply return quite quickly to the area that they've been scared away from. So this study concluded that you needed multiple drones to uh, work a large area. So please bear that in mind when you're thinking about buying a drone because this really plays into the fact that you either need autonomous drones, so drones that go out and do it on their own, um, and they, some of the drones in the list that I've got here, you can actually randomize the path so the birds don't get used to, oh, you know, 10 o'clock on a Sunday, you know, the drone does this path. Um, but also you probably need more than one if you've got a particularly large area to protect. Um, and so yes, please bear that in mind when I'm talking about these drones. But uh, amazingly, there are drones that are specifically for scaring birds and they normally include things like screecher boxes. They normally include things like, uh, one, one study included like this taxidermied crow on the back of this uh, this drone, which uh, is a bit mental, but yeah, they normally include things like that. So here are the top four that I think you should look at. So the first drone that I think you should consider is the Pro Hawk bird scaring drone. So this is a drone, it's the first one in, in its class that was really designed for scaring birds. It's fully autonomous, it's made in the USA, which is important for, I think in the agricultural space, particularly you know, with the tensions around Chinese manufactured goods and the amount of data that needs to be sent to the Chinese government um, from Chinese companies. I think having a US-based 
manufactured drone is important if you're based in the USA. So it's completely carbon fiber construction. And also they have a patented bird screecher as well. And so you can include things like uh, predator and stress uh, calls from birds and all sorts. So yes, that's the first one. Um, it seems to be probably, like I said, I, I think it's the, one of the better ones to consider purchasing. And if I had to buy a drone to scare birds, I'd probably buy that one. If you're not based in the USA though, you may want to consider the Avian Scout. Now the Avian Scout is made in Australia and uh, it also allows you to have sort of like flight software uh, so that it can program different flights. Um, once again, it kind of comes with a screecher box. It has all of these aspects um, and uh, it does rely a little bit more on having a drone pilot. But um, yeah, two or three of those going around vineyards, I think will be fantastic. So the Avian Scout is another one that I think you should consider for a full rundown of all of the features. Check out the article because I've listed all of the benefits, all of the features and uh, compared and contrasted each of these four. So for more information, go see that article. Now I thought this was pretty interesting. So you've probably heard of the DJI Matrice 600. So that is normally used for a um, like Hollywood filmmaking. It carries DSLRs. It's got a payload uh, carrier, I think of about 10 kilograms. And so uh, what they've done is they've created this DJI Matrice and they've stuck a bird scaring box underneath. And the reason they've done that is because this hexacopter, so a drone with six uh, propellers is incredibly stable, but also it can lift more things. And this screecher box tends to be quite heavy. So it's got a bird screecher. And the great thing about having a drone that's so stable um, is that it's got a 38 minute flight time. So if you're doing a large area and you need to zigzag over um, you know, your vineyards or your, your crops, it can be annoying to have to land and swap out batteries. But with the DJI Matrice, you are paying a lot of money, absolutely. But the good thing is, is that you're getting a much longer flight time with that drone. Um, and also the Screecher box has been designed specifically for uh, scaring different types of birds. Like I said, it has predator calls, it has distress calls. And um, yes, it's made in Australia as well. So this company uh, has sort of combined the two best uh, cases and come up with this scared uh, bird scaring sort of device and drone. So go check that out. They're based in Australia in Sydney. The, all the links are in the description actually. And also go check out the uh, article because there's heaps more information. So I think one of the last options that you should consider is grabbing yourself a DJI Phantom Series drone and adding a Screecher payload. Now, the great thing about these drones is that they can lift a little bit more than the Mavic series. They're a little bit more stable. They've got that solid body. Uh, they don't sort of fold in on themselves and uh, a slightly longer flight time, better cameras, all of that stuff. But the Phantom Series can um, have things attached to the arms. They have these little kind of arms underneath. Uh, I, should, I guess I should say legs because they land on them, but little sort of skids underneath that they land on. And you can attach things to that. And so getting a DJI drone and buying a um, audio sort of like speaker screecher thing that it can lift, um, yeah, is another option for you. And that means you're getting a commercially available drone that isn't as expensive as the DJI Matrice 600, but you are including that aspect of an audio kind of uh, boombox, for lack of a better word, at the bottom. So definitely worth considering if you're in the market for a drone to scare birds. Um, and yeah, I think those are all of your best options if you're in the market for a drone that scares birds. Let me know in the comments what you would add to this list. Um, I think these are the ones that are the best ones on the market, but if there is any one that I've missed that you think deserve a mention, let them know in the, in, the, uh, in the comments and I will add them to the article, absolutely. All right then, until next time, I hope you have a fantastic time flying your drone and I shall see you in the next video.